welcome and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to briefly come on here and show you all my hair and to let you all know that I've reached six months of my micro lot journey. So today I just have half up, half down. I have pretty short hair, so I can't do much with it, but you can play around with it a little bit if you want. So I have the bang down here and then I just grab the size and just rolled it like a French roll and pinned it down. So I pinned it this way and then pinned the other side that way. So that's why it looks like a little hump. It's definitely locking more. And I'm still not putting gel on my ends because it was causing flaking. So I'm not gonna put gel on my ends. I just put gel or edge control on my edges to lay my little hairs down in the front. So yeah, I'm loving it still. I'm so happy I reached six months. It's so crazy because time goes by so fast. So for the next few months, I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue to experience shrinking and frizzing. My hair is really frizzy. I wash it still weekly or bi-weekly and um, I still oil my scalp on a regular basis. also noticed that I'm experiencing more holes in my locks, especially in the back because I retie my own hair. It's definitely fixable, so don't worry. Don't feel like you've messed up your locks completely. I would just suggest if you're doing it yourself, be sure that you're going in the opposite direction when you ended your previous retie on. So that will prevent holes. And um, I can fix them. I'm thinking about waiting until they mature really good and grow so that way I can reach it a little easier because it's kind of hard to reach. If like, say if a lock right here has a hole in it, it's kind of hard for me to get this area. Like I can retie my roots really easy. I can just stick my hand like this and, and retie my roots. But if I have a hole like in the middle of my lock, it's kind of hard to like keep looking to try to get it. So I'm thinking about waiting until my hair matures and grows a little longer so I can reach it a little better. That's my little idea. So yesterday I decided to recount my locks. I believe I started off with about 264, 65, and now I have 259. I combined a few of them, especially in the back. My first row, I had a couple of them that were really small and I will go crazy trying to go through my entire head and fix every single lock because sometimes I guess people want it perfect. For me, it doesn't have to necessarily be perfect, but I I didn't want a lot of thinning. So some of my locks were very, very small and I felt like it needed a little more support. So it's okay to combine or um, separate some of your locks if you feel like, you know, you're having a struggle lock. So now I have 259 locks. I know that for the next few months, maybe until I reach one year, it's gonna be the same. <laughs> I noticed that a few, wait, I have a favorite lock. It's one of these, because I have a couple locks that are starting to lock really good and they're like stiff. So like if I turn sideways, a couple of them will stick right out. So I like that. <laughs> and um, I'm just hoping that I achieve a little more length in the future within the next six months, but it's okay. I understand it's going through like that um, locking process. So it's, you're gonna deal with a lot of shrinkage. But yeah, that is my lock journey at six months natural. And um, I'll come back and show you all soon for months to come. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day, okay? Bye-bye.